Yo, what's up, Jello Squad? My name is G Slow, and welcome to my Redstone series world. And yeah, this is what I'm gonna be showing you to today. It's my elevator. It actually doesn't take a much redstone for how it is. Like, this is just custom made. You could do that. You could actually make this part more compact. This is the main part of it. But, yeah, this is an elevator that you can select. So, I'm going to go to floor 1 to start. So, floor 1 would be this floor right here, right? You go in here, press the button, and now I'm at floor 1. Now, if I want to go up 1, 2, 3 floors, or 1... First floor, second floor, third floor. So if I want to go to the third floor, I go in up there, and I'm at the third floor. One, two, okay, first, second, third. Now, let's say I want to go to the very top floor, which is the eighth floor. If I want to go there, go in here, push the button. You can make this faster, but I just like it more like that, where it's all timed out. And now I'm at the very top floor. So I can also jump down here to get back down to the lobby selector thing. And if I want to go to the first floor, I just redo that and push the button. First floor. Every single floor works. So, the way this works is it's the item frame <coughs> detecting by a comparator going into a redstone signal leading into torches and that's where it through goes through now when I push the button it'll power this line here and because I'm only going to this floor this is the only one that's off so it when I click the button this is the only one that'll power all these other uh, pistons should be up because I will use them but if I twist it it'll adjust that and make it so this piston is down, so it activates that piston, and this piston is down. Now, if I go to the eight, all pistons should be down. Every single piston will be down, allowing it to pass through every single one of them, and they each have different delay. So, first floor, first floor button will fire, then sec or first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, and so on. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, let me fix that really quick. Sorry about that. Well, all these will fire and power these. So, let me show you. If you want to see how the first floor works, it'll just pull you down that way. See, it's just that first one. But if you go to the second floor, it'll be that one and then that one. See, it's using the 1.9 piston glitch thing. I'm not sure if it's a glitch because they're leaving it in. But, like, if I go, I'm standing on this side of the piston, hand, hand. I need to block it off. But if I'm standing on this side of the piston and it pushes through me, now when I break it, it pulls me behind it. It works for up as well. Hang on. It also works for going up. How can I do this? See, it'll go for up. See, it'll push through me. And then I break it and it goes, shoots me up. It'll also work with mobs. So let's spawn a mob in here really quick. Uh, mobs spawn eggs in here. Okay, let's use a creeper. If you see it's going through, see I'll push through and then you break it and it shoots it through here. So it's a pretty cool 1.9 thing. That's what I base this elevator off of. But it changes like that. You could probably make it more compact, but this is how I did it up to the third floor and then if you go all the way to the top it'll power them all the way like this all the way up to the top pulling you up and you're at the top floor and then when you go from eighth to one it'll reset everything turning all those back on now that that's working now I'm only gonna go to the first floor now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give you a quick tutorial on, like, I'm going to do a mini one on how to build this. I'm going to do, like, the first three floors. So, what you got to do is you get a building block, where, wherever you want the turner to be, 
I'm just gonna have it here. And it's just gonna be these blocks since it's gonna be three floors. So let's get this. I prefer an arrow. You can use whatever you want. Just I like to use an arrow. So if you want to have only three floors, this is how it'll be. It'll be there, there, and there. That's actually a pretty cool design, I guess. Let's actually make it look nice, I guess. So you could go like that. And now you just need signs. And with these signs you go bam first bam second bam third okay so now all you do is you go back here place that there this here so when it's on one since it's on one because it's on one it's pointing to one it'll only turn off the first torch second one turn off the second torch third one turn on the third torch and then you have to point it all the way back to one that's why I just built it eight, so it just resets itself like that. But see, whatever, whatever one it's pointing to. But if it's on like th this, it'll still count for three. So even if you push the button, it'll still count for three. So if you want to use it three that way. Okay, now what you gotta do is you gotta take a repeater leading out of all these, lead it into a redstone block. And then have some sort of system for this. So, you can do really any ways, but this is how I'm going to do it for this one. So, the bottom one there, have it there, have it there. Have it so it can't cross back through the signal. Like that. Bam, bam. Oh, wait, hand, hand, hand. I messed up. Shoot. Okay, hand. Have it like that, 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 and that. So this is where the signal will power. So let's say the button was here. If you push it, it'll only power the first one. That one won't change. So let's add this. What you're going to need is that. Then you're going to need sand. place it there and there. The same is going to have to be done for up here, so. Ish. Okay, so. If this is on, it's going to have this on, so it won't work. But, if you have it on too, it'll turn that off, so when you power that, yeah. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have the redstone signal travel up. Hang on just use that there Ugh. hang on I need a half slab let me grab a half slab of any type uh, nope let's place it there there and there so when I click the button it'll power Oh, hand, this needs to be a redstone. This needs to be a repeater. And now they're all in line, see? You could make it more compact than that, kind of like this design over here. This design is for more for a bigger build. But this, it'll still work either way. This is actually probably the more compact version of it. But see, so it's second floor. So it won't power that one there. But it'll only power those two. Now if I flip it to three, it'll power all three of them. And if I flip it back to one, it'll only power the first one. Bam. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to have a signal coming out of each of these. Just like this. And then let's actually build the elevator itself. So, let's build that here. See, you could block this all off. It's all hidden in the wall. So let's build the elevator here. Okay, let's just have it like that. Now we need to use the pistons, so it needs to go here and here, block this off here. 
and then have it like run like that. So now you got yourself that. But if you do want to make more, just have it pointing all the way around, and then just extend this out like this. Hang on. So if you want to add more, you just do that, and then just mimic the design. Okay, so now that you have that, the first one down here has to lead up here. So you could lead it any way. It could be as compact as you want. Just it has to lead up to here. So now, if I click it, it'll power it. So if I go in here and select the first floor, bam, I'll go up to the first floor. And then, if I wire it up to the second one, and select the second floor, I'll go up to the second floor. So, this needs to go here and here, 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 bam, bam. And then this is the second one right here, because, so it's like in rows, first one, second one, Second one, third one, fourth one, which will be up one, fifth one, which will be down, sixth one up, seven one down, and so on. So this one needs to lead up to here. Doesn't matter how you connect it, just needs to be connected, just like the first one. This one, it, if it's not delayed enough, like, okay, so it's not selected, so I'll, I'll still only go up to the first floor because it's only pointing to the first floor. Now, if I point it to the second floor, it might be a little too fast. For your liking. Hand, hand. Yeah, it's a little too fast. Because it probably won't work all, every time because the piston might already be down. But just to fix that, all you need to do is add a little bit of delay here. So now when you push the button, it'll give it a little bit of delay. And now you can move right onto the third one. And if you just want to make this taller and add more, you just need to do that. Just expand it out, as I said before. Okay, and bam, let's just add walls here, mm -hmm. and then I'm pretty sure you know how to add the water elevator, so yeah, now let's just hook up this one, I'm pretty sure that's where the pistons are, yep, bam, 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 okay, so down here is the, this one, this one's a little tricky, but it's doable. The re only reason it's tricky is because the actual thing is there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend it out this way, extend it out this way, and use a redstone torch elevator up, since it's a little bit higher, instead of having to build the redstone out. Occasionally, you'll have a little glitch in here with this, and it'll be moving too fast, so the actual redstone torches won't catch up with the system. And you always want to have it end on the powered off. You always want to have it end on the powered off. So, see how it ended like on the torch there? That's not what you want. You want to have it end like in the power off. So now, this only leads up to the second one. Select like the third one, bam. And now it brings you up. So, if I go to the third floor, now I'm up at the third floor, top floor. But if I want to go back to the first floor, I just point it at the first one, and bam, I'm at the first. And that's pretty much how it works. It's pretty compact. You could make it more compact, but yeah, that's pretty darn compact. And if you just want to expand it out, you can add more floors. Just do that. And that's pretty much it. See you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please slap that like button. And... Subscribe if you're new to my channel to join the Jell Squad today. And I will see you next time. Peace. Yeah.